Hi, my students. How are things? This is teacher Atir Bzu again with you. In the previous meeting, we discussed a grammar rule, which is make, let, and be allowed to. As we said before, we use allowed to or be allowed to if someone gives you the permission or the possibility to do something. And the uh, construction is allow somebody to do something. And if the sentence is in the uh, passive voice, the, the, the construction will be B uh, plus is R M. So B is followed by B is could be, sorry, B could be is R M was or where is R M in the present tense was or where in the past tense a plus allowed a plus two plus the verb. Then we said that if we have the permission from somebody to do something, we use let. And the construction is let somebody to do something. So we have let plus the object plus the infinitive verb without to. Finally, we said that if someone obliges or forces another person to do something, we use make. And the construction is make somebody do something. So make plus the object plus the infinitive verb without to. In this meeting, we will learn how to rewrite the sentences using the three structures make, let, and be allowed to. في هذا اللقاء سوف نتعلم كيفية إعادة كتابة أو إعادة صياغة الجملة باستخدام واحدة أو أكثر من the three structures make, let, and be allowed to. Take sentence number one as an example. I have to study every night. Dad says so. So in this sentence, uh, here we have have to. Have to has the same meaning of must. معنى ما لها معنى الإلزام أو الإجبار على القيام بشيء معين. So in this sentence, here we have someone obliges or forces you to do to do something. So your dad obliges or forces you to study every night. So this sentence is an application, and you must use make, not let, not be allowed to. So the sentence will be my dad, here my dad is a subject, makes, why makes, because this sentence is in the present tense, is in the present tense, and my dad is a singular, so my dad makes me, make, plus the object, which is me, plus the infinitive verb, which is study. So the sentence will be my dad makes me study every night. Take a look at sentence number two. We can't eat food in the class. We can't eat food in the class. In this sentence, here we have can't, can't, can't. Um, uh, so in this sentence, you don't have the possibility to do something. لا يسمح لك القيام بشيء معين. So um, the best answer is, uh, or the best structure is allowed to. So we, we are not allowed to eat food in the class. We بمعنى أنه ليس مسموح لنا في تناول الطعام داخل غرفة الصف. Here we have R. Why R? Because we have we. Because we have we. And uh, um, uh, R is, uh, is followed by allowed. And allowed is followed by to plus the infinitive. So in this sentence, we can't use make because it's not an application. We can't use let because there is no permission to do something. So the first, the best, um, the best uh, structure is allowed to. In sentence number three, here we have, I can't sleep late on Sundays, my parents say so. Here we have can, can, which means that you have the permission to do something or you have the possibility to do something. So here in this sentence, we can say, my parents let me sleep late on Sundays. Let me sleep late on Sundays. Why? Because we have in this sentence, you have the permission to do something, which is to sleep late on Sundays. So if someone give you the permission to do something, so in this sentence, your parents give you the permission to sleep late on Sundays. So you can use the structure of let. And the structure, the construction of let is let plus the object. Here we have let plus the object, which is me, plus the, um, uh, the infinitive verb, which is sleep without to. In this sentence, we can also say, I am allowed to. I am allowed to sleep late on Sundays. بمعنى أنه مسموح لي بأنه متأخرا في أيام الأحد. So I am allowed because I have the permission, I have the possibility to do something which is to sleep late on Sundays. So this sentence has two choices.
In sentence number five, we have to read a book every week. The teacher says so. This sentence has a similar meaning of sentence number one. So in this sentence here, we have have to. Have to has the same meaning of must. The obligation to do something. بمعنى أنه يجب عليك أو أنت ملزم في القيام بشيء معين. So the correct answer is my teacher makes. Why makes? Because somebody, there is somebody who obliges or forces you to do something, which is to read a book every week. So the teacher makes, makes, why makes, not make or made, because the sentence is in the present simple, and the present simple says, if the subject is singular, you have to put us with the verb. So the teacher makes us read a book every week. On this slide, uh, we will continue our sentences. If you look at sentence number five, here we have, I can, I can listen to music in my bedroom. I can listen to music in my bedroom. معنى أنه أنا أستطيع القيام بشيء معين أو أملك الصلاحية القيام بشيء معين. So, in this sentence, uh, the, 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 the correct answer is, it is allowed to listen to music in your bedrooms. It is allowed to listen to music in your bedrooms. Why is allowed to? Because you have the permission from somebody to do something and you have the possibility to do something. And the, the structure is allowed to and the construction is it. It, of course, is followed by is because the sentence is in the present tense. We can't say it um, it was, it were, uh, sorry, it, uh, it uh, is, it uh, was uh, in the past tense. We can't say it are, it am, um, it were. So it is in the, it is, um, is in the present tense. It is allowed to listen to music in big rooms. In sentence number six, we can wear our own clothes. The school says, so, so the school, the meaning of this, of this sentence is that the school allows you to wear, to wear our school, our clothes. So, um, this sentence, uh, the best uh, structure is allowed to, allowed to. Why allowed to? Because we have the possibility, we have the permission to do something from our schools, which is to wear our own clothes. So, the school, and the school is singular. This sentence is not in the passive voice because the school, um, the school that allows you. So this sentence is in the, um, it's not in the passive voice, it's in the active voice. So the school, the school allows, why allows? Because the school is singular, allows us to wear our uh, clothes. In this sentence, we have also um, another possible answer, which is let. We can say the school lets us uh, wear our clothes without to. So the school lets us wear our clothes. Now let's move to sentence number seven. We can't play soccer in the yard. We can't play soccer in the yard. Mom says so. In this sentence here, we have can't, can't, um, so can't means that you don't have the permission or the possibility to do something, so the perfect structure is allowed to, and the sentence will be in the passive voice, لأنه نحن الغير مسموح لنا بأن نلعب الحديقة. So we are not, we is followed by are, of course, because the sentence is in the present tense, لأن الجملة هي في التصريف المضارع للفعل, so we are not allowed to play soccer in the yard. In this slide, you have to complete the following sentences with make, let, and allow to in the, in the correct grammar form. You have to remember uh, that after make and let, we use the infinitive verb without to. هون الجمل المكتوبين في هذول السلايدين هذا السلايد والسلايد اللي وراه هم نفس ومرقة العمل التي قمت بإرفاقها قبل فترة على نور سبيس. رح نحلهم مع بعضنا. Now, look at the first sentence. So let's start with the first sentence. They, us, run five miles every morning. We had no choice. So in this sentence, uh, if you look at the second part of the sentence, then إذا نظرنا إلى الجزء الثاني من الجملة وهو we had no choice معنى أنه لم يكن لدينا هناك خيار آخر. You know that this sentence is an obligation. So you have to do something. You must do something. 
you are forced you are uh, forcing somebody to do, to do something you are forced to do something sorry so انك انت مجبر على القيام بشيء معين so the perfect construction the perfect structure is make not let and not allow to and because the sentence is in the past tense because here we have had so the sentence is in the past tense هذه الجمله هي في التصريف الماضي ليس في التصريف المضارع so we have made instead of make Now look at sentence number two. We will not allow you to go into pubs until you are 18. In this sentence here we have two. هون في عنا كلمة في عنا حرف الجر ل preposition two هي ممكن يدلنا أصلاً شو إنه الأشياء راح يكون محطوط معها because let and uh, let and make um, we can't use two. Uh, because the, the verb is infinitive verb in make uh, make and the let sentences. So in this sentence we will not. You to go into pops until you are 18 because you don't have the permission or the possibility to do something. So the correct answer is allow. In sentence number three, students in this sentence you have to choose between two different choices. Students are not allowed to or don't let use their Uh, calculators during the exams بمعنى uh, ان الطلاب غير مسموح لهم باستخدام الالات الحاسبه لهم خلال الامتحان so students are not allowed to غير مسموح غير مسموح لهم باستخدام الالات الحاسبه or don't let we can't use don't let لانهم هم الطلاب ليس هم مش هم اللي بسمحوا انهم ي, 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 بعدم استخدام الالات الحاسبه انما هم غير مسموح لهم so this sentence is in the passive voice not in the active voice And the, the correct answer is students are not allowed to. أنهم غير مسموح لهم. And this sentence, of course, in the present tense, so we use are not where. In sentence number four, we have nobody is allowed to or let's smoke at the gas station. Nobody is allowed to or let's. Let's. If we have, if we choose, let's. Um, and so this sentence uh, meaning is. Um, بمعنى أنه لا يوجد شخص يسمح بالتدخين في الجاز ستيشن and this is um, wrong so in this sentence nobody is allowed to بمعنى أنه nobody um, nobody uh, has the permission or has the possibility to smoke at the gas station so nobody is allowed to and nobody takes is not are not am and this sentence is in the present tense Um, the fifth sentence that my teacher made or let me do extra homework because of the trouble I caused. So my teacher made or let. Of course, um, this sentence is in the past tense. You have to choose between uh, made and let. Um, uh, my teacher me do extra homework بمعنى انها اعطتني تمارين اضافيه because of the trouble i caused بسبب المشاكل التي سببتها so of course in this sentence there is an obligation and there is someone who forces another person to do something so your teacher forces you to do something which is to uh, to do extra homework because you caused um, some troubles so in this sentence my teacher made me why made not make because the sentence is in the past tense Um, let's go to the last slide here. We have the last three sentences. My mother lets or makes me stay out uh, till midnight on uh, uh, or in Sundays. Sorry, on Sundays. My mother makes me stay out or lets me. So um, if we choose uh, make, so that uh, means um, that it has an obligation. And in, the, in this sentence, uh, this sentence means that you have the permission to do something, which is to stay out till midnight on Sundays. So my mother lets me. معنى أنها تسمح لي في البقاء في خارجاً في وقت متأخر من الليل في أيام السبت. So the the correct answer is lets. Why lets? Because this sentence is in the present tense, and my mother is a singular now. Uh, the next sentence, my father never allows or make me, never allows or make me stay out too late. Of course, the correct answer is allows. Why allows? Because here in this sentence, I don't have the permission or the possibility to, to do something which is to stay out so late. Um, so my father never allows. معنى أنه لا يسمح لي وليس يجبرني على القيام بشيء معين. لا يسمح لي القيام في البقاء في وقت متأخر من الليل. Now, if 
um, if we look at the last sentence, we have they are get married yet their parents say they are too young. So um, we have two possible choices: not allowed to or let. بمعنى أنهم غير مسموح لهم في الزواج حاليا لأنهم ما زالوا صغارا أم أنهم يسمح لهم في ذلك. So there are here we have are. هون are بدلنا على إنه وراها بده يجي عنا are allowed to. So um, uh, we uh, they are not allowed to because they didn't have the possibility. They didn't have the permission to do something. They are not allowed to get married yet. Their parents say. Um, they are too young, so uh, we the, the the best choice is not allowed to. غير مسموح لهم. Here we say are not allowed to because the sentence is in the uh, present uh, present tense. هي في تصريف المضارع للفعل. So you have to choose between is are or am, and we have they, and they will be with are. رح تكون معها are. Uh, thank you. This is all today. Um, thank you for listening carefully. Um, but man, على أمل لقاء فيكم في فيديو آخر. شكرا لحسن متابعتكم.